What is going on people, it is Johnboy720 and today is going to be a very different type of video. I'm just going to be giving my opinion on something that I think should happen with FIFA. And it's an unpopular opinion, but I think Pro Club should be the competitive esports game mode, not Ultimate Team. And here's why. Pro Clubs at its full potential, like Max Lobby, is 11 versus 11 players, unlike Ultimate Team, which is just 2v2. This eliminates the AI and bots from the gameplay, therefore making the game less... RNG and luck based, hoping that your bots make the right runs or whatever. Now, I know you can trigger the bots to make runs, but you can't do that with all of them. You can only do it, do it one at a time. This eliminates randomness of the AI making decisions off the ball. That's point one. Point number two is many esports games like Call of Duty, Rocket League, League of Legends, you name it, they all have leagues with individual teams, right? Sponsored by these big companies and corporations with all the money which make the entire competitive esports scene much more profitable. I don't think there's a single game out there that can provide a league system a league system, sorry, better than FIFA because it's a game, a football game, that uses a league system. Imagine, right, obviously in Ultimate Team you have some teams, real-life teams sponsoring players, but imagine you could have Barcelona, Real Madrid, United, Liverpool, all teams like that having their own FIFA Pro Clubs team. Having these teams that people can relate to would make it like much more enjoyable to watch as a viewer but like what would you rather watch a 1v1 game on ultimate team or a full 11v11 game of the best players in the world i know what i'd want to watch and i believe from doing this they could probably earn more money on clubs than they would revenue from ultimate team maybe not for the packs because they're money hungry but could you imagine if the pro clubs leagues make even one percent of what the premier league makes this is probably the biggest and not thought of idea by EA, and we know they're money hungry, so they should do this 100%. Another point I make is that last night I was watching a documentary, right? I think it was called Not Just the Game. It's on Netflix. If you're a big gamer, watch it, I recommend it. But there was a scene on there of all like FIFA players, and they even admitted to compete, right? Not to win, but just to compete, you have to spend money. There are millions qualifying for these finals trying to get there, but you have to spend real life money that you've earned in the real world to have a chance against your opponent. What kind of esports does that? I've never known. They're so pay to win. Keep the payment to loot boxes, please. Like, putting pro clubs as the competitive scene would make that problem less severe and probably have more people wanting to join in on the competitive scene, if you get what I mean. And obviously, I know, and we all know, EA just want Ultimate Team front and centre because of the money it makes them. But I'd argue... Once again, that having a league-based pro clubs esports scene would make them more money than ever because of the exposure. Look at like Counter Strike and Overwatch, always revolving their game around esports because it's such a big potential money maker. Because it's a team-based game. Team-based games always make the best. Rocket League, the League of Legends, you name it. Sorry if I'm stuttering a lot. Even Call of Duty, you're not going to see one v ones on there. Maybe if it's like Search and Destroy. I'm not a big COD fan, so I don't know if a 1v1 happens there. But at the start of the rounds, it's always team-based. No one wants to see 1v1s. Keep that to Twitch or something. We want to see a pure 11v11 competitive scene, like pro leagues. Imagine if there was a Champions League, and Europa League, fighting for promotion, fighting to not be relegated. Real-life football bit in a game. Why can't they just do that? There's no league system in... Uh, the Foot World Cup, for example, or f for esports right now. It's just, oh, you win or you lose. That's it. But there's no league. No one's getting against worse players or better players. It's just, it's stupid in my opinion. And to be honest, I think the FIFA E World Cup's forgotten about. Who actually cares? Like, how many people watch it, unless you're a pro FIFA player yourself? I was last interested or heard about it when I found out it was on Sky. Sky TV, and I found out Tex was playing. That was, like, years ago. That was probably before the pandemic. Who actually watches it? I know someone, right? He lives close to me. He's a professional esports player. and A uh, FIFA player, sorry. And even then, the, the, he doesn't make a lot, I think. Like, obviously, he makes more than a normal person would, but to make money off esports afoot, you need to literally be the best in the world. Otherwise, you're getting paid pennies. JCC made a video on about, I can't remember the exact figures, but you get paid so low. Pro FIFA players mainly make their salary through like endorsements, sponsors and Twitch. 
they don't get it. Like, they get paid pennies from the tournaments. If you had a pro clubs league, just pay them at the end of the season of where depending on where they play. It's like real life. If you love football, EA, then you you'll love pro clubs. I don't, I don't get no. You love money more actually, don't you? I can see why you're doing it now. If you had a pro clubs league, I guarantee EA. You'd get paid a hell of a lot more. As I said, even if it was 1% of what the Prem gets. So if you finish, even if it was 15th in the Prem, that's still probably more than what the 17th best player in the world's getting. You know? That's the world. Obviously, if you're 17th in the Prem, you're a bit above mediocre, but you're still getting a lot more than what you would be getting now. That exposure could help EA out so much. And I know I'm rambling on. I'm just a ba very bad at explaining things. As you can tell, I'm stuttering a lot. Another thing I'm going to talk about is skill gap, right? Obviously, if we go to our ultimate team, everyone's looking for the same players, the Mbappes, the Ronaldos, the five-star skillers, all these special cards. There's meta formations, there's meta everything. Like, I don't get it. Pro clubs, yeah, they're the same overall, but they're not all 99 across every stat. Everyone's got slightly different builds. That, it's obviously like real-life football. And in pro clubs, like, obviously... There's favoured formations, but there's no meta. Like, in Ultimate Team, would you see a free to battle formation? Probably never. In Pro Clubs, it doesn't promote that, but it allows that. Like, literally, the only thing it doesn't allow at the minute is five of the back formations because of everyone doing all drop backs and shit. But no one plays five at the back in Ultimate Team anyway, I don't think. I think they should allow five of the back formations, but hey, that's, a, that's another subject. But it has so much more variety. People can play in different styles of football. Obviously, you get that in foot. But all different tactics and set-piece styles and all shit like that, they can work on set-piece routines. Like, making the right runs instead of just tapping L1 to make your messy run through on goal. Like, no, no one wants that. One last thing I'm going to say, because I've rambled on for too long, I'm surprised I've been talking this long. But EA, make one Pro Clubs event, alright? Make one tournament, league, whatever you want to do. And I guarantee you, that will bring you success. Maybe not as much revenue, but success. Okay, look at 2K. They're not as rich as you, I don't think. Do their fan base hate them? Maybe, but not as much as you. Your none of your fan base likes you, EA. Like as bad as that is to say, and you probably don't care. All you care about is that green in your pocket. But imagine if you had even more green, and your fans liked you even more and appreciated what you've done in this last FIFA. Just host an event, league or tournament, please. Probably a tournament just to start off, see how it goes. And I promise you, you will have so much exposure. Then you have more exposure than ever before, because no one cares about the E World Cup. Anyway, I better go because my voice is starting to wear out because of COVID and shit. But that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, comment down below of what you thought, and if you agree with what I'm saying, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this to all your pro clubs lovers, and I'll see you in a bit. Take care.